Hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this Tornado Spotlight Blue Colourful Eye Look. Um, I love this look, it is so reflective and just something so different, bright, out there and just so much fun. So I was inspired to do this look by, obviously I'm filming this actually on a Thursday and on Thursdays we all clap for the NHS. Um, and the NHS colouring is actually blue. We clap for all our key workers as well. Like everyone who's working during this crazy time is doing an amazing job. No matter what job you're doing, you are all doing so, so well. Um, I actually, my sister works in the NHS um, and I haven't been able to see her since Christmas because of all this virus going on. So I haven't seen her in over six months um, and she stays like five and a bit hours away from me because she works in one of the biggest hospitals in Scotland. So I done this kind of, for her and for all the other NHS and key workers at this time. So if you guys like this look and want to know how I got it, then just keep on watching. So I'm actually gonna start by doing my base today, just for a wee change. Um, I done this a couple of days ago when I was just doing my own makeup and I quite enjoyed it. So I thought, right, let's try it again. But anyway, I'm gonna try and nip on with this because you've probably seen me do my base about a million times. But anyway, so I'm going to start by using the CeraVe um, Moisturising Cream for Dry to Very Dry Skin. This is fragrance free, paraben free, it is totally natural and amazing for the skin. Yeah, I'm going to say it, it's a true dupe for the Magic Cream by Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm just going to take like a standard Kabuki foundation brush and I'm just going to buff this in. Um, I prefer using this over my hands. Um, that's just because I don't really like using my hands to touch my skin, um, but yeah. So many people recommend this skincare range, so I might try some more of the bits and bobs in it. Um, I just don't like changing really up my skincare routine because I know that um, Dermalogica kind of really works for me personally, so yeah. I'm just going to move this here. My hair's going to look a bit dodged because I'm not wanting to get foundation stuff in it. So I'm just going to have to move it out of the way and make it look stupid and then sort it. I've also just put some soap through my eyebrows now. I tried that whole like soap trend but I don't know what I've done wrong but every single time I kind of move on to do something else. I feel like my eyebrows just drop but I'm not sure if you're just meant to keep going through them until you fill them in. Someone that knows how to do the soap trend, please let me know. Revolution lip... My Revolution Liquid Highlighter in the shade Liquid Rose Gold. Uh, I'm just going to use this kind of, it ends up all over my face. So I'm just going to pop it everywhere that I want to highlight. I like using it underneath my bases because it kind of gives a skin-like finish. So I'm just going to pop it like here and here and here and here. And then I'm going to buff it in, it ends up all over my face anyway. So yeah. For foundation today, I'm actually going to be going back to an oldie but a goodie. Um, love this stuff so much and I always tend to go back to it. It's the MAC Shoe Fix Fluid and today I'm using the shade NC30. Um, sadly, there's not been any more sun, so um, I haven't gotten a top of my tan. But I am just going to pop this onto my metal palette. I really need to get another one of these. This is my own one, like from my own makeup kit, and it's like scraping the bottom. But it's amazing. I've been doing this actually the past couple of times I've been doing my makeup. I'm quite shocked at myself to be fair. Um, I'm using this doll beauty brush, it's the DB2. Um, I usually use this for blusher, but I've actually been using it for my foundation, which I'm quite shocked at because I don't really do foundation brushes often. <laughs> like it has to take a lot for me to use a foundation brush for sure. But I just like switching them up. Honestly, I just don't know what it is when it comes to doing my foundation first before I am so like much, what? I'm so less careful and I don't even know why I do it. I'm now going to go in with my Buff and Blend Dry Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to tap over any areas just to like 
further blend and get rid of any brush strokes or anything like that. Now I'm actually going to go in with my cream contour stick. I'm going in with the Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick stick, stick in shade um, F14. F13. Can't get comfy. <laughs> right, we're just going to have to do that. In with my Maybelline Fit Me in shade 20 and I'm literally packing this on it. Fancy doing a little change of products today. I kind of get sometimes in like a way of doing like using the same stuff and all that so I thought right let's change it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my Barry M All Night Long Concealer in shade 1 Milk, which is quite white. But this is because I just want a little bit more coverage. Coverage? Can't speak today. Um, what's new? I want a little bit more coverage and just to kind of add a little bit more lightness, especially under my eyes, because um, I have crazy dark circles. Um, but that's because my sleeping pattern is absolutely gone. Like, if anyone asks Kindle, let me know because. Ever since lockdown, I feel like one day I do really well and get up early, get so much stuff done, and then the next day I'm like not sleeping until like one in the morning, get up at like ten, look like a zombie still. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, yes, we had such a productive day, um, which I don't know really what happened to it today. Um, and I'm back doing my two week shed because my two week shed kind of got the side of the head 10 days in. I know I only had four days to go, um, but it was just like, you see when you get to the point you're like, ugh, can't be bothered. But now I'm back on it. And I'm back doing work, so I'm doing a two-week shed and a booty lift, apparently. I say apparently because I don't know how much these things actually work. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, why did I even bother doing my hair before this video? Someone, please. Tell me that now, because I look like an egg now, because I've had to move out of the way. Now I'm just going to blend in my concealer before um, I lose faith, because I really don't know what is going on and why my foundation looks this weird. I literally used this exact combination yesterday. And the same thing happened. And it's always fine until I put on the Revolution Fast Base Stick. So I don't know if it's something I'm doing because usually the Revolution Stick works a dream. So I don't know what is going on. RCMA No Colour What? <laughs> no Colour Powder. I'm going to tip some into the cap. I've been using a wee powder puff. This one's just like a number seven one that I had um, in my makeup bag. And I've been like pressing the powder onto it. And then like I'm gonna have to lean because I'm gonna get it all over my black top bit. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to um like minimize like the risk of uh drop down. So I've been doing this to try and be able to do my base first basically. Right, I'm gonna just take a wee bit of that RCMA powder and I'm gonna put it on a big powder bar powder brush. Get your words out open and I'm just gonna like pop this everywhere else. Push off that from underneath my eyes. Bronzer now. I'm gonna go in with my dark tan mineralized skin finish from MAC. Um this is my all-time fave. So I'm just gonna pop this in my usual places, kind of the same places where I popped that cream, um, and this just brings it back through the skin. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 9B Blusher Palette. Blusher. I'm gonna go in with this top shade here. It's like the coral one. I like quite like a strong blush, so yeah, not everyone will like this, but I do. <laughs> I'm going to go 
in with a highlighter. I'm going to go in my Doll Beauty um, Hall of Fame highlighter palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Shine Bright today. I usually go in with Supernova, but I'm fancying a change. So I'm going to go in with a wee bit of this. Just in all the highlighty kind of areas. I'm going to go in with the tip of my nose. Bridge part of my nose. I really like highlighting here. Oh, highlight that little lump of a spot I have. Chin. Top of the cheekbones. Top of the arch of the brow. This kind of like creates kind of up lifted kind of like. In with the Mac Pet. A pep and pen. <laughs> it's been a long morning. MAC Prep and Prime Flip Fix Plus in shade Gold Light. So I'm just going to shake it. Now I'm intrigued to see because when I tried this in my haul video, um, I didn't see like any like particles of glitter or anything, which I really liked. Um, obviously, it is like a gold light shimmer, so it will have a shimmer too. But I really didn't want one that was like gold glitter to explode in everywhere because then obviously that doesn't look as flattering um, and look quite chunky. So I'm intrigued to see. Oh no, that looks lush. So it is literally just kind of like a sheen, if you can see. It kind of just adds that like healthy kind of skin glow. Now let's move on to the eyes. I'll zoom you guys in a wee bit and let's get going. My eyes. So I'm waiting to do something I think I might probably regret, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I seen Laura China on Instagram, also known as Summer Packer, and um, she's amazing. I seen her do this. So she mixed her regular P. Louise base with her like colour of P. Louise base to then like help the blend of her like eyeshadows. And because we're doing blue today, I thought why not do a bit of this? So this is the P. Louise Touch of Frost um, Basic Basic Base and then it's my standard P. Louise Base. So from what I can figure out, you can literally just mix the two together, <laughs> which I'm quite concerned about. But then I'm thinking this one's quite a pale blue anyway, so let's use it on its own. You know what? We're going to use it on its own. I might highlight a bit of this, but anyway, let's give it a bath. So I'm actually even gonna, I'm gonna carve my brows out and stuff with it as well. <laughs> this could be a disaster. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a disaster. I don't know what to do the end. Oh, I never thought this through. just gonna like blend this a wee bit because I feel like it's quite like a harsh line at the front of my brow which I don't really go for so I'm just taking my Zoeva 227 and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit see what happens oh no <laughs> this has been a mistake I'm gonna keep going with it because we can't turn back now like we just can't And maybe we should have done this and done eyes first. I never thought that one through, did I? I'm going to take my beauty blender over it a wee bit to try and like blend it out. If blending it out is like the right thing to do, I don't know. Literally, it was only a tiniest little clipping on her Instagram of her doing this. Right, what I'm going to do is before this actually looks even worse. I'm gonna pop on an eyeshadow. So I'm using my James Charles Morphe palette. Um, I'm actually just gonna use like the bright blue shade. There's not a lot of blue shades in this palette, um, but it's just like a bright blue, as you can see. And I'm literally gonna pop this either side. We're gonna do like a tornado kind of spotlight eye. Today. Always tap off your excess so it doesn't drop down. Mm 
bring that up a bit to here. And as soon as I start to see like the excess kind of coming off my brush, I'm kind of going to wipe it off and I'm just going to help blend out those edges a wee bit and blend it into that base. Go in with my clean brush and just blend it. So I'm just going to keep building and blending, adding colour, blending away the edges just until we get the right blend between the shadow and the base. This is weird. It feels strange. But we'll go with it. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the inner corner with the same brush. So I'm just going to go in and create like a stark kind of line. When I'm doing like this tornado style of spotlight, I like to have like two lines and then blend them. And um, that's just the way I personally find it easiest to do. Like a wee bit of inspo from my nails as well, because oh my gosh. So if you don't know, well, my mom used to be a nail tag. I didn't used to be, she is one, but she doesn't really like work as one anymore. So she has like all the bits and bobs and stuff. So obviously, because I can't get my nails done during lockdown, I could just get her to do them and she has been doing them, but I fancy trying to do my own, which has never really been my thing. Like I love getting my nails done, but I don't want to do like client's nails or anything. So I've never really bothered with it. I've never tried it purely because it doesn't like, doesn't put me up or down whatsoever. Um, but i seen like a TikTok of like how to do like opal nails and stuff. So I thought, right, I'm going to give that a bash. So I gave it a bash with Lou. So it kind of ties in with my nails if I do blue eyes today. I'm going to go in. Do you know if I want to swap palettes or not? I am. So I'm going to go in with the Be Perfect and Stacey Marie palette. XL Pro. I'm gonna go in with the shade Mood, which is like a dark blue, and I'm just gonna pop that again in the same places. Just to keep adding depth in colour. The colour from before, from the James Charles palette, and just buff over the edge. that there and I might do my underneath as well because I think that's how you sometimes get like the like to see what look you're kind of going for I might use with the spaces left in my hand like this could be a big mistake and I'm gonna buff it under using like a short shader if I put a blue base down on top then I want the blue base on bottom does that make sense Now I'm going to go in with the medium blue shade and pop this on either side as well. So I'm actually going to do a broken kind of what, like, what I pop? a broken waterline and under eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy what I've done on top, just placing this colour on the outer edges, and then do the same on the inner. leaving that middle portion completely clear, just the light blue. I'm going to go in with the dark blue and do the same thing. Now I'm going to go in with my shimmery pigment. I'm going to be using the Doll... No, it's not even Doll Beauty. It's where I'm wrong. I'm using the Jordana Tisha Base and Sparkle in the shade Chill Pill. Um, this has actually got a cream, so I'm going to pop this down. Will I pop down the blue? No, I'm speaking of which. I'm going to pop down the blue base that I've got left on my hand from Pee Louise, and I'm going to pop that in the middle. 
just so the colour has got something to stick to and go off of and I'm kind of going in like a line to create like a tornado kind of like wipe off my excess and then I'm going to switch my brush to that side and go down like this to try and blend like so the brush with the blue colour that we kind of popped down first from the James Charles palette and I'm just going to blend that in to it a little bit more like so the reason I'm doing this is just so it doesn't have like even though I'm wanting it kind of a line I'm not wanting it like harsh looking and um, you could literally get this if you want it like matte which I am considering um, but I think I will put a shimmer down because I like a bit of shimmer but you could just leave it at that but I'm gonna go in with a flat brush a tiny little flat brush from W E and the Chill Pill Pigment and I'm going to press this on top. I've never used this, I'm quite excited to try. But I love all the Jordan she had like the new D ones, so. Oh, love, right, okay. And I'm not caring about getting it in my eyebrow because I'm going to fill them in today. Um, if you want to know how I get my eyebrows, then go and check out my brow tutorial over on my channel. Amazing, love that. Now I'm going to go in with my Barry M Holographic Topper in shade Asteroid. Um, I'm literally just going to be mixing like loads of different things to try and get this looking as like reflective, different colours as possible. It just gives me a wee bit of like something, especially for photos. It's getting like the shimmer to show up in photos is really hard. So by layering, you get that multi-dimensional look. I think I'm gonna go in with this Helene. I think I will Helene glitter. I don't know the color. Um, I will try and look it below. It is literally just like a pale blue, um, kind of color. And I'm just gonna try and press that on, and see if that sticks at all. I don't want it like going dull, I just want it to add some something. Yep, perfect. I'm using the smallest amount of this truly because glitter can look quite chunky quite easy, whereas I like it looking more like, what's the word, like blown out. So I don't really like a chunky glitter, but this looks amazing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop all of those on my middle portion, you know, with my bottom lash line there. So I'm doing the exact same thing, same base. Then I'm going to go in with the topper. I'm going to use the P. Louise and Mitchell Acid Rain Paint in the shade Nitro. A tiny amount of this. I'm really going in with different colours today. I'm loving this. Will I use this on my top lash line? I think I will. Let's do it. These are so easy to use as eyeliners. I'm going to take this and pop it into my waterline, I think. Amazing, love that. Now I'm just gonna pop off camera, pop on my Tatty Lash TL ones, mascara. I think I might actually cut up lashes and put them on as bottom lashes. I might, I might not. Fill in my brows and then do my other eye and then I will be back. So, see you in a sec. <laughs> so, this is the finished look. I love this. I am so obsessed, but I'm not usually a blue parachute, but I love a tornado spotlight. I love light, like layering up. I'm obsessed with this. So all product details will be either on my Instagram or below in the description box. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, there's a link below. Um, smash that like up, what I like, and a thumbs up. 
subscribe down below if you want to keep in touch with what I'm doing, keep in seeing all the videos. Um, I'm uploading every Tuesday and Friday at 6pm. Um, this is just something that's been so amazing to keep me going during lockdown. It's been a big dream of mine to be able to do this and I'm so lucky that I've now been able to get out there and do it. So having you guys watching is just absolutely amazing. So subscribing is even more amazing. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you like this look and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.